Twelve Years with Sounding Board, and today we're going to look at Championship Showdown, Andre the Giant versus Hulk Hogan Series 10. The reason I got this because this is one of the more memorable matches of my kid childhood, where Hulk Hogan fought Andre for the championship belt. And as you can see, they have Hulk Hogan and Andre on the back. Because this is when Hogan won his first championship, and Andre pummeled the hell out of him. He was Hulk Hogan wasn't even sure if Andre was going to drop the title to him. But let's open it up and see what they look like. Uh, one of those figures where the package is gone. They got a stand, which is called some special uh, stunt stand now. That's another reason too I want to see it, because it's two characters that actually have a stunt stand. Here's Andre from, from the front, the side, the back, the side, and the front again. And you notice Andre isn't on a classic Andre body. He's on the Big Show's body, actually. Because Andre should be a little bit more bigger. He was bigger than, uh, Andre, than the Big Show. And, uh, but th this is the body they gave him. And then here's Hulk Hogan in his classic tan version. And as you can see, He's actually taller than Hulk, which is a nice thing. Because a lot of figures usually scale everything the same scale. And you got two different uh, things to hold the stalls. One's a giant size for Andre. See? And one's for Hulk Hogan, which has two different ways to plug it in. Expect a little kid to put this together. There it goes. So you can have Hulk Hogan doing a flying elbow smash at Andre. Do the old fashioned way. Disconnect them. Find the holes in their feet. And 
plug them into the base. Since the stands are, are supposed to be so you can give them some mobility of flying, you know, so when you pose, you can pose them. But I wonder if you could put an elite figure on it. So here's old John Cena. So he can work, and the elites have more mobility than uh, than the other ones can. You can take Hulk Hogan, give him an uppercut. These stands would work really better with the elites, better than they do with the, the uh, basic form, where you get two figures for one and just stand them on a base. When these figures are simply almost display pieces more than actual, or figures you slam against each other because they cost ten dollars each. The only thing that sucks with Hulk Hogan is his leg is jammed up because of his knee pad. There it goes. He only has an arm that moves up and down like a Star Wars figure, very limited. He has a closed fist and an open fist. You'll have to buy a one stand that can actually hold an, uh, two light figures, not a heavy a heavy figure, because this only holds Andre, or maybe a Big Show, or maybe Mark Henry. I like the stand, but they put it on the wrong figures. They should have put the stand in special edition uh, elite figures. So then you can uh, have them fight each other. Because these figures don't really animate very well. But they do bob. So until next time, this is the sounding board, signing off.